<laughs> Let me tell you what, though. Tony Bobulinski, from the first time he made himself known, October 2020, and held an impromptu press conference to say, Joe Biden is lying. Hunter Biden is lying. They've been in business together doing these things. I know because I was there. Oh, and by the way, today he said Jim Biden is lying. He said they're all lying. These are the things we did. These are the places we were. And he is not backing down. That former Navy officer is not backing down to the little sniping and attacks and AOC, you know, losing her mind a little bit. Bruce, he's holding his ground because it seems to me he's telling the truth. What say you? Well, you know, listen, thanks for having me. I say go back and let's watch the Tucker Carlson interview. If you, you know, uh, he's been very consistent from day one, as you said earlier in the segment, all the way back to 2020 in October. Nothing's really changed. And even through the hearing right now, he's pretty much, you know, regurgitating exactly what he's been saying all along. And real talk, Steve, you know, I'll be honest with you. I was hoping and praying for this man's safety because this, these, this obviously uh, is an evil empire. You see how the dual justice system operates. Um, you see how, just take Peter Navarro not wanting to go uh, uh, deny subpoenas. Look what's going on with him. Look at the armed agents of putting machine guns and going after Roger Stone, you know. I mean, you know, listen, this is something that obviously that I'm very concerned with our, our, our country because, you know, I'm here in Atlanta uh, pivoting a little bit here in Fulton County. And, you know, we have our own uh, dual justice system going on with Fannie Willis. 